Hey guys, this episode I thought we would take a look at one of the features that I don't see many people talking about and that is the stimulus targets callbacks. So there's a callback for connecting and disconnecting targets, which means that if you have a stimulus controller mounted to somewhere and it has targets inside of it, you can actually listen for when those are added and removed automatically and then have your controller take um, those events and use that to process something on the page. So what I thought would be interesting was to use those target callbacks to actually trigger updates to a chart. So maybe you're building a reporting page and things are being inserted by Turbo real time onto the page. If there's any metadata on there that we can use for our graphs, we're gonna have that data pulled out on one of those callback events and then re-render our graph with the latest data. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this episode. So let's go ahead and create a new Rails app and we're gonna call it um, chart stimulus or something like that, just something simple. We're gonna use the default import maps for this example and ChartKit actually has um, an integration already for import maps that we can use really easily. So we're gonna add the ChartKit gem and then add these lines to our import map config and then add chart kick and chart bundle to our application JS. So let's bundle add chart kick um, inside of our new application actually. So we'll run bundle add chart kick there. We'll grab these files to pin the JavaScript for that um, so that we can get those. So we'll open up our code. We'll go into config import map dot rb and we'll pin the chart kick and chart bundle 